All right. The other thing you saw in the video is that when the particles hit the right side of the screen, they kind of start twirling and going a little bit crazy. So to do that, we're going to use um, turbulence. So open up the turbulence field, and right as the particles kind of hit the wall, we're going to keep hit a keyframe on effect position under the turbulence field and basically that's just gonna allow us to make them start spinning in the turbulence field so there it's gonna be at zero and then we're gonna turn it up just a little bit ahead so you can see there hold on there you can see there it starts spinning out of control which is what we're looking for so the particles come in hit and start spinning. Alright, um, another thing you notice in the video is the particles go start spinning and then those two lines come in. So those are pretty simple. Basically just going to use a shape layer, take the uh, rectangle tool, draw a just a really thin rectangle like that and that kind of makes the line and then duplicate it for the bottom move it down and doesn't have to be perfect but trying to make them look pretty even as far as spacing um now we need to make them after a little while after it does this we need to make them slide in so right around here we'll P on the keyboard for each of these, turn on their um, position, and so we want them to both start off screen. So drag them off screen, and then the other one comes in from the other side. So we'll drag this one off to this side. So they both start off screen. Here we're going to make this one slide in maybe about here make this one slide in all the way move this one over and then about that same distance make this one slide in all the way as well there so now that is kind of functioning like that top one slides in and then the bottom slides in um, another thing I did was add a glow to each one and that kind of gives it a softer feel like that. Alright, so those slide in and then the last thing you saw in the video was the bar wipes everything away. So to do that we'll move ahead a few seconds and then we'll take the bottom bar again make another keyframe for its position go forward a little bit, move it down a little bit move forward again and move it off the screen on the top so that kind of works like that um, maybe we'll drag this in a little bit just to make it a little faster and then obviously we want to make it wipe everything else off so right about here P on the keyboard for the text layer and bring it off screen and then also for the other uh, bar uh, right as that's coming up hit a keyframe for the position and oh wrong bar the keyframe for the position and pull it off screen as well okay, so I'm gonna grab this. there we go Alright, so that kind of pulls everything off. And then you're going to want to turn motion blur on for all three of those layers as well as the composition. So it looks a little smoother when it pulls everything off. And then the last part is to make the particles stop emitting. Which, you go to the particle layer, go to particles per second, set a keyframe, move forward a little bit and set that to zero so that they just kind of fade away. Alright, 
So that's the basic idea. You can edit all everything else to make it look nicer. But like I said, that should give you a pretty nice effect. So thanks for watching. This is my first tutorial for Bluecast Studios on the experimental title Particle System. Thanks for watching.